Tonight's subject is live in the end. I dare say that everyone here would say yes to the statement of scripture. With God, all things are possible. I don't think you'd be here if you did not believe in God. And the God to whom all things are possible. But maybe we stop right there and we separate man from God. And my purpose is to show you that we are not two, that we are one. That God actually became man, that man may become God. So let us now tonight give you my reasons for my claims. We turn to the book of John, the Gospel of John. And we are told that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Well, that's a mistranslation. The word translated among is the Greek preposition in, within. The Word became flesh and dwelt within us, in us. John used the plural us for the nature whereof we consist, that the Word of God, which is defined in Scripture as the creative power of God and the wisdom of God, did not take upon itself some one person among men, for then that one assumed would have advanced and no more. But Christ to save all did not make this man or that man his habitation, but dwelt in us. That same creative word that created the universe and sustains it dwells in us. Therefore, with God, all things are possible. And therefore, with man, all things are possible. So he states it in one book, Matthew, with God, all things are possible. But in Mark, he states it, all things are possible to him, meaning man. Who believes? Can man believe? So this creative word is in us. Well, what is this creative word? It's your own wonderful human imagination. That's Christ in man. Man is all imagination. And God is man. 